Hey you guys, welcome back. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all the new subscribers coming out and subscribing to this channel and helping me grow. 2021 is going to be a big year for us. So let's just go ahead and get into this story. There is an update. Um, first of all, T.I. and Tiny are literally having a very bad 10 days. First, it came out that one of their ex-associates, um, you know, claimed that T.I. put a G.U.N. to her head. Then a day later, several women came out and said they were assaulted um, in various means. Um, R. Kelly-ish behavior. Now Lisa Bloom, shown right here, she's repping one of the survivors of these alleged attacks. And this is really not good. And this is on top of T.I. and Tiny show being suspended from production, The Family Hustle. So let's just rewind tape a little bit so I can catch you guys up. Um, first of all, earlier today, The Family Hustle, uh, it was reported that production on the show has been suspended. They had actually started filming back in late December. However, in lieu of these allegations coming out, um, the network wants more information on what is going on. So right now their show is suspended. Right after that breaking news, Lisa Bloom came out and said that she was representing one of the Jane Doe's associated with the situation in which she said that there is evidence that T.I. and Tiny did something to physically harm this young lady. Now, I'm just going to give my opinion on this, and I definitely want to hear what you guys think. First of all, I know that I'm a little old-fashioned, but to invite so many different women in your bedroom to begin with, and you're rich, and you're young, and you got money to spend. These women are not just there for clout. They are there to please your man in front of you while your man is pleasing them as you watch him please them. Okay, if that make any sense. Apparently, T.I. and Tiny are swingers. Swingers basically mean that they don't mind um, having an alternative um, lifestyle, which, you know, to each his own, if it's good for them, it's, hey, if it's good for them, whatever, however, you know, people need to be aware that when you're well known and you got people that are constantly trying to come after you for money anyway, these situations could be dicey. Now, I have a couple of things that I would like to see come out of this. First of all, I would like to see the evidence. The evidence that there was actually harmful intentions. The other thing I'm actually waiting to see is if any of these women can actually um, prove evidence that they were underage when this was going on. Because that has actually been thrown out there too. Lisa Bloom is very well known for representing um, Hollywood actors, actresses, um, people that have been abused in some type of way. Um, this is basically what she does. And honestly, I don't think that she would have just took this case for anyone just basically calling her office and crying wolf if there was not even a trace of actual evidence. So this is still developing. And... The only people that are really going to really take a big blow for this is Tiny and T.I. Honestly, it's going to be very hard for them to even probably get invited to parties right now while this is winding its way through the court because nobody is going to want to be associated with this. Nobody is going to want to touch this brand right now. This brand right now is just... You know, it's it's just not in a good place. And once you get accused of this, and once people start just coming out with these stories, you know, it's really hard to put the, it's really hard to close Pandora's box. So again, that's this is an update. Their show has been put on pause. 
Um, and Lisa Bloom is representing one of the Jane Doe's in this situation. I'm actually waiting for more news to drop about this. What do you guys think? Should they even have invited these people in their bedroom in the first place? Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, be safe and enjoy your evening.